It's really important to close the digital divide for people with disabilities. Right now, it, based on a field poll in 2016, 29% um, of people with disabilities in California are not connected to the internet. I mean, that just blows my mind, that 29% of my community is not connected. And so what does this mean? Um, well, the public is used to listening to the disability co community come out and advocate for ramps to get into a business or um, a path of travel once we get in, uh, a parking space so that we can actually, uh, you know, park to get in, um, to be able to use the bathroom once we're in and, and to be able to just do business and, and live life. Well, now, uh, if you don't have access to the internet, you don't have access to so many things. And we really see it as a civil rights issue, a disability rights issue. If you don't have access to the internet, you don't have access to basic information that makes it possible to live your life. And for many people with disabilities uh, who are struggling with lots of different kinds of barriers, um, actually having the opportunity to be at home using the internet makes it possible to, for them to be more engaged with the community than they could when somebody was delivering that 20 pound um, yellow pages at their doorstep. Because now you can actually interact with people and you can actually make appointments, you can actually um, schedule your life using the internet in a way that just was not possible before. But also it's a way to connect with the community. Um, it's a way to be civically engaged. And um, at this point, you know, if you're a person with a disability who um, doesn't have the opportunity to leave your house as often as folks who um, are not disabled, uh, because you're waiting for uh, a paratransit bus, um, because public transportation is um, not close to you, um, because you're, um, you've put, put together a, a network of interdependence that makes it less possible for you to leave. Um, being able to connect with the community from your home is really important. And so, um, that's really important, but honestly, you know, not only is it an issue of the fact that um, we're less connected, but it all is kind of like a, what's that snowball effect? Um, we have a really dismal labor participation rate, and um, you know, we're less employed than people who don't have disabilities. And um, right now, if you want to get a job, uh, I don't know, have you opened a newspaper to look at, at oh, oh, is a newspaper even coming to your house anymore? I mean, really, if you want to find a job, you need to be able to get on the internet. Do you think that we're going to get jobs if we don't have access to the internet? Whew, no, we're not. So. Uh, you know, the road to independence and um, uh, the road out of poverty for any community is the ability to find employment. And if we don't have access to the internet, we're not going to get there. And we're already so far behind. So why is it important? For all of those reasons. And we're advocating for uh, people with disabilities to get access to the internet. We're also advocating for the internet to be more accessible for people with disabilities. That's a whole other issue. Um, and, you know, we're going to keep at it until we have equal access. If I want to get a job, there's no way I'm going to find one without actually getting on the internet and um, looking for employment. So the internet is a key component to um, our community getting access to employment and getting out of poverty as a result and finding independence and self-sufficiency. The road to independence and the road out of poverty for people with disabilities is employment. And the only way our community 
and really any community at this point, has the opportunity to find employment is through the internet. And so the internet is key to people with disabilities having access to employment, getting out of poverty, and finding independence. The California Emerging Technologies Fund has been critical in engaging the disability community uh, to get more connected. Um, what's really interesting about CETF is that um, we have an opportunity as a disability organization to work with a variety of other organizations to um, reach out to our communities uh, and to help get them to um, have access to low-cost internet. And, um, you know, when CETF originally approached me, I was like, oh, I don't know, is this, is this really something that um, my organization should be spending time on? And um, this was a few years ago, and we really sat down and looked at it. We looked at the statistics, and we went, oh, wait a minute. This is actually really important. And so um, we looked at who else was working with CETF, the, um, the variety of organizations, and, um, and we said, wow, these are, these are organizations that are doing our work in their communities. We want to be connected not only to CETF, but to the organizations that they're partnering with. We want to be in this circle of organizations that are building our community to um, better... Uh, take advantage of opportunities. And um, without the internet, we really don't have that option. Well, I think one of the things that the state really needs to do is prioritize uh, internet access for all. And I think um, they need to do that by supporting the Internet for All um, Act. Um, I don't think that this is a tough reach. We've spent, uh, I think we spent like, we spend 40% of our uh, general fund dollars on education. And um, that's kind of a waste if what we're doing is sending children home to uh, homes that don't have internet access. We should not have children trying to do their homework on smartphones. And, um, you know, we can't expect to uh, harness the best of um, our population, the best that um, our Cal the best that Californians have to offer if they don't have access to the internet. And we just need internet equity. You know, we need internet equality. Everybody needs to be able to get access to this service. Um, it's like having a phone, you know? It's, it's like everybody should have a phone. And at one time, everybody would have a phone in their home. <laughs> now I know that's not no longer the case. But the reality is it's like no different than having a phone in your house. You need access to the internet. That's how we do it now. Let's get it done.